So you've just finished a new skin for R Factor and you want to try it out. Well, let's put it in the skins folder for a default car first and see what happens. You've got the NVIDIA plugin, so you know how to save as a DDS and it looks rather shiny. This reminds me of 1985, the Commodore Amiga ray tracing. Remember those days? You're probably too young. But yeah, most cars in R Factor, the defaults, the uh, custom skins look like this, so what's the big deal? Well, it is a big deal, because it could look like this, but that's a little dark. And the flames are a little bland. Don't you think they should reflect? Maybe uh, something like this. Oh, now this is more like it. Look at the way the flames dazzle in the light. Let's get a closer look at this. Notice how the flames re re react to the light, but the decals do not. Well, how in the heck do you do that? It's called the alpha channel. Nobody ever tells you how to do this in R Factor painting tutorials. So let's go through it. First, let's take a look at what the skins actually look like. So let's have a comparison of those three skins. The first skin, the super glossy one, looks like this. The second one, the completely matte one, looks like this. The third one, with the flames with the design on them, looks like this. Now, how can that be, you ask? That's because you're looking at the wrong screen. Most R Factor painting tutorials aren't really teaching you about paint. They're teaching you how to color your cars. Well, it's like using crayons versus using paint. With a crayon, you get red, and, well, it's red. With paint, you can find the right shade of red, but you have choices. High gloss, medium gloss, semi-gloss, matte, metallic. You have to make the same decisions when you're making your R-Factor skins. So, this is how to do it. You look on the side of the screen, you have channels. See next to layers, you have channels. Click the channels tab, and in there, you see at the bottom, alpha 1. And it's not being viewed. Well, click on it, and look at that. There is the pattern in the flames. The regular skin, it just had a single color there. And you notice how where the decals were, there's nothing there. So, how did this how do you manipulate this? How do you do this? The one easy way to do it is to take the default alpha channel, use select all, and paste it into your RGB layer, your RGB channels as a as a layer near the bottom. This is not necessary. This is only if you really want to do advanced things and you don't want to mess up the original alpha channel. So then you have your flames. Now here are the flames. I don't have the pattern flames anymore, but you see how the, it's covering the lines, it's covering where the decals were, it's covering the vents and so forth. Well, we don't want that. Just as when you're painting your skin to begin with, you want to get rid of those. Now in this particular template, there is a shadow lights area, and in there there's line black. So we take the magic wand tool, set tolerance to 255, usually click anti-alias, it depends on what you want to grab. And here we've grabbed just that area. Now we can also switch over to all the decals and number plates using the shift key, use a magic wand again, and it will add these extra selections. So now we can turn off all of those, go back to where we were, go back to the flame layer, click delete. And that's gotten rid of those. Now we see underneath we have where the default alpha channel was. You do the same thing probably when you're making your skin to begin with, or, or maybe not, but you could. So now you can grab what's left of the flames. You can copy them, switch to the alpha channel, and paste them in. And now you have a shiny flame motif. Or you could have shiny numbers. Stock cars look great with shiny numbers. So you want to save this to begin when you're when you're done. Now you see here I've also done a metallic effect. You can do the same thing with highlighting all the the uh, decals. Turn off the shade layer, and you can grab just the color of your paint, and you can manipulate the paint the way I did there. Now when you want to save it, if your system's like mine, you can't save from the template. It always comes up with an error. 
Well, that's easy enough to solve. Here I've taken a default skin, I've moved it to where I want it to where I want my skin to be, and I've renamed it to the name of my custom skin. And I go back to my original template, got the RGB layers on, and I use copy merged. Copy merged is important, obviously, because you want everything to be copied. Switch back to the original to the default skin, paste it in there, and use merge down to get rid of the old background if you want to. It makes it a little easier to save it actually. And then we do the same thing again for the alpha channel because that's not copied the first time through. So we go back to the template, got the copy, everything should still be selected. And we copy this, there's no copy merged option because there's only one layer. And we go back to the alpha channel of the default skin and paste in ours. How about that? There's our flames. Now you want to save it. If you use save as, you get this screen. Make sure alpha channels is selected, which it should be. Or we go just to the save screen. Very important here, DXT5. The reason you want DXT5 is because that leaves the, the alpha channel intact. DXT3 reduces the alpha channel to just 16 shades of gray, so your lighting effects will be kind of funky. And it actually ruins all the good hard work you did for these flames. And that's all there is to it. Now you can enjoy your car in R Factor. Why nobody ever teaches you this stuff in all the tutorials, I never know. So that's why I made this video. So there you go. Hope it helps you. Oh, one other thing. This same technique is used for helmets. Helmets in R Factor also adjust reflectivity based on the alpha channel. So when you're painting your helmets, do the same exact thing. So in the same way, you can have super shiny helmets or you can have completely matte helmets. I should point out as well that if you're using DX7, you won't notice any of these effects because DX7 doesn't use the reflectivity map. But it's still important to add these to your skin because all the rest of us are going to see your car looking ridiculously shiny or whatever. So make sure you get this all set right on your skins. And it looks really beautiful. The best effect to do with decals on a car is to make them slightly less reflective than the base paint. Uh, and uh, remember also that the big swoops on most cars in real life, those are actually giant decals. Those cars aren't actually painted with those big lines. Uh, so having that, even though it's, even if it's just slightly, it's very subtle and nobody will notice that you've done it, but they'll notice if you haven't done it on the skins. And it really makes the skins look a lot more realistic. So get out there, work on your alpha channels on your on your skins, and you'll notice just how much better cars can look in R Factor than they've looked in any sims in the past because of this very reason that you can control the glossiness. So get to it.